Hey folks, Dr. Joe here. Hope everybody's having a rockin' day. I am. And uh, last time we got together, I did a show on uh, one-minute tips uh, of healthcare that you can do, a minute or less of things you can do to get yourself healthy. And apparently it was a very popular. I got a lot of comments from you, the listeners. You sent me emails through my website, Facebook, uh, Instagram. You said, you really like that style of the show. You really like the fact that you're throwing things out there, bam, bam, bam. And a lot of people said, oh, I didn't know about that. I didn't know about that. So we're going to continue on that today, keep that theme going. And these are one-minute health tips, things you can do in a minute or less to change your life. And it's really important if you want to obtain and maintain good health that you do that. And it's interesting because with this show, usually a radio show host has a demographic. You know, women, 25 to 45, uh, men, uh, whoever your demographic might be, our demographic is everyone. And it's really cool because we have teenagers, young kids, preteens listening, old people, uh, race across the board, uh, uh, income levels. Everybody listens because everybody has concerns about their health. I do. Ma does. Rachel does. Everybody does. And so that's why this show is, is so much fun. And that's why we're going to do a little different today and, and kind of go along with this. And if you like the show, by the way, always send me an email through my website, drjoesposito.com, because I love feedback from you guys. I hear it from my patients all the time and I hear it from listeners. But if you haven't done it, you can always do that and let me know so that I can then kind of modify the show to meet you, the listener's needs, because that's what we do in radio. We want to make the listeners happy because without you, we don't have a show or a station or anything. So you're really important to us. Your opinion really matters. So let's just kind of run through a bunch of them here. Gosh, I got a ton of them here. And um, I'm going to open up the lines in a, in a little. I'll open up now. If you have a healthcare question, 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-JOE. If you have a healthcare question, maybe we can answer your question. I talk a lot about water, and your brain is about 80% water. If you don't drink enough and stay hydrated, you can reduce the ability of neurons to perform properly. What are neurons? Neurons are nerves. And nerves make everything happen. The brain sends messages down your spine, out your nerves, out your nerves to every cell in the body. The arms, the legs, the heart, the lungs, the liver, the spleen, the kidneys, the gallbladder, the prostate. Everybody is connected, hardwired to the brain. And one of the things I do to try to get your, you healthy as a chiropractor, of course, my team of doctors are chiropractors, they try to find any bones that are out of alignment and realign them, take the pressure off the nerves. And most people think of chiropractic as a great way to go if you have back pain or neck pain or shoulder pain. And we really are good at that. And in fact, studies have shown that the fastest way to get well from neck pain and back pain and the least expensive way with the least amount of downtime is chiropractic care. And it's kind of cool because I got a call from an insurance company the other day. And the insurance company said, um, would you be interested in getting on our workers' comp panels, which I'm on several workers' compensation panels already. It means it's listed in, the, in, the, in your place of business, and you can come to us as a doctor. And then I got one, a call that said, listen, we want to start driving our back pain patients to chiropractors first, number one, because it's less expensive. That's their main concern. Uh, number two, with this opioid crisis just totally out of control, what do we do? What, else, what other options do we have? Well, the other option is let's get to the cause of the problem instead of treating the symptoms. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't take medication. I'm saying if you get to the cause of your problem, many times you don't have to take medication. And so the insurance companies now want to start driving you, the patient with back pain, neck pain, shoulder pain, to chiropractors first. Because finally, and I can't imagine it took, I can't imagine why it took so long. They're starting to realize, and studies have been out for years, that chiropractic is cheaper. It's less side effects. It's, it, it's less downtime from work. Their main concern, of course, is it's cheaper. So I don't see a downside to trying to get to the cause of the problem first. And if we need to go a little more aggressive, of course, we can. But the brain controls the nervous system, and that's what we as chiropractors work on, fixing the nervous system. So make sure you're drinking enough water. Try to fool yourself to drinking water if you have to. You can add maybe a little stevia to it, a little lemon juice to it. I'll do that in the summertime. I'll get a big glass of water, a big container of water, and I'll add a little lemon juice, a little bit of stevia to it. Now I got lemonade. It tastes great because water, I grant you, can be a little boring, but I look forward to my lemonade. And the acid, if it's a good lemon, if it's an organic lemon, it can help my digestive system. And even though lemon juice is an acid, it's like apple cider vinegar. It breaks down to an alkaline once it's in your system. And alkaline foods make the nervous system and the digestive system and the whole body work more efficiently. So lemon juice and apple cider vinegar are the exception to acid foods. Regular vinegars, not so good. 
they leave an acid ash, and an ash is what's left over once something is digested. So another tip you can do is just drink water all day. And like I said, you want to add lemon juice or stevia to it, that's great. All right, lots of callers. Let's go to the call. If you have a question, 844-44-DR-JOE. Adrian, how can we make your day better? Hi, Dr. Joe. Thank you for taking my call. You are welcome. Uh, it's about diet. My uh, uh, PCP recently uh, did some tests, and my cholesterol is higher than she likes. Mm -hmm. She wants to uh, put me on statins. Yep. I don't want to go on statins. Good. Uh, I don't think my cholesterol is very high, but it is a little above what it should be. What do you recommend in the way of diet? Well, what we're finding now, the new research on cholesterol is not is we always think you're just making too much cholesterol. And if we give you statin drugs, it shuts down your liver's ability to <clears throat> produce as much cholesterol. And so the cholesterol okay. drops. Makes perfect sense. However, the question that comes up always in my mind, why do you have high cholesterol? And what the new research is pointing to is that your liver may not be recycling your old cholesterol, but you keep making the new cholesterol. Okay. And so what a lot of doc what I've seen in my patients is when I put them on a plant-based diet, you know, a lot of fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds, staying away from the animal products, meats, dairies, butter, cheese, yogurt, ice cream, the liver is able to clean itself out, liver self-cleaning, and then it starts to recycle the cholesterol again and the cholesterol drops. So from a dietary standpoint, a plant-based diet absolutely positively is the way to go. Uh, cutting out all your animal products, and also cutting out fructose, high fructose corn syrup. Because fructose has to be converted into glucose in your liver, and too much of that puts a stress on the liver, and then okay. you get you can develop things like fatty liver. So high fructose corn syrup and animal products, if you cut those out, go to a more plant-based diet, you should see some great results. Okay. Cut out fructose, animal products, and go to more plant-based diet. Pretty simple, right? Yeah. Great. Thanks for your help. Let us know how it works out. Thanks, Adrian. Appreciate the call. Folks, got to go to break. We're talking today about one-minute tips that you can do to help get yourself well and keep yourself well. It's things that you can do, things you don't have to spend money on at doctor's offices. Uh, if you have a health care question, 844-44-DR-JOE, my website with tons of information on it, drjoesposito.com, which is Google Dr. Joe, number one Dr. Joe in the world. The number here at the studio, 844-44-DR-JOE, that rings through to my offices when I'm not on the air. Hey, folks, if you have a question, give us a call. We'll be right back. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe here. Glad you're there so that we can be hanging out together. Talking today about one-minute tips that I'm, I want to give you that you can help improve your health, things that you can do every single day uh, to try to improve your health. And the cool part about this is you don't have to do all of them. I wish you would. But if you just do one or two of them, that's great. Because so many people come to our offices. I've been in practice now over 33 years. And patients come into our offices and they say, Dr. Joe, I want to get well. And I said, great, here's what you need to do. It's not easy. It's really inexpensive, and, and, and this is what you need to do. And usually in a couple of weeks, you're going to see some amazing results. Most of the patients are willing to make the changes. Some aren't. So I try to make it as easy as possible. I narrowed down all the bad foods you can eat down to seven, what I call the seven deadly sins of nutrition. Alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener. I know that's your whole diet. I've made supplements that make life easy for you. I take fruits and vegetables and put them in a powder form in Dr. Joe's Essential Source and Dr. Joe's Super Greens to alkalize your system and give you minerals that are necessary for your cells to work properly. I make it inexpensive for you to do. So I'm trying to make it as easy as possible. Now we're going into just one-minute things, less than one-minute tips that you can do. A lot of times people have issues because they have, I love this one, ants. Automatic negative thoughts. A-N-T-S, see? Ants, automatic negative thoughts. And they trigger anxiety, and they, f they increase your stress hormones, like cortisol. So many times when you think something's going to happen and you're all stressed out, the cortisol is released, which then makes you more stressed out, which makes the problem worse. So whenever an ant enters into your brain, this is a little trick that I do. Write it down. I love sticky notes. I'm the, I'm the world's biggest fan of sticky notes, I think. I have my car, in my house, next to my bed, I have my bathroom. Uh, every room in our office, we have sticky notes. So that when something comes into your mind, instead of trying to say, i got to remember this, oh my gosh, this is so stressful, I, write it down, stick it in your pocket. And usually what happens is when you get to the point where you're going to pull it out of your pocket, you read it and you go, oh, that's not that important. Oh, that's okay, I can handle that. Or you wake up in the middle of the night all stressed out. Anybody ever do that aside from me? And I have my little notepad next to my bed, scribble it down. A lot of times I can't even read it anyway, so it doesn't matter. But by the time I wake up, it's out of my head. But then I don't have to worry about it. So writing things down is so important. If you want to use your phone, uh, if you want to use a sticky pad, you want to use a, a notebook, whatever you, you do, whatever makes you happy, do it. 
you will be fascinated, A, how much more work you get done, B, how, much, how you'll realize how little importance a lot of these things hold, and C, when you get time to do them, you can get them done so that you don't think a day or a week or a month later, going, did I ever, oh yeah, I did, that's right, I wrote it down. And I like, personally, what gives me a thrill is when I get to throw my little sticky note away. I did something. I'm accomplished. So those are neat little psych tricks you can play on yourself to try to get things done and not have to stress over things. Because when you get stressed out, your body releases a lot of hormones, bad hormones. Now, short term, they're okay. It's no big deal. You release a little cortisol, you're not stre- you, and it's, it's, it's okay. It's normal. It keeps you alive. But the problem is long-term chronic stress. Now, sometimes... You have to deal with long-term chronic stress. Maybe it's a financial issue. Maybe it's a bad relationship. Maybe it's a family issue. Somebody's sick. Somebody's dying. So you can have long-term chronic stress that you don't have control over. But you have control over the short-term chronic stress. Well, it wouldn't be chronic stress then. Short-term stress in many cases. Write things down. There's emotional, chemical, and physical stress. Chemical stress you bring on yourself in most cases. What do I mean by that? It's what you eat. You're eating the seven deadly sins, alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener. You're not drinking enough water. You're not getting your body up and moving. You're not getting the proper rest. You're not sleeping because you're stressed out because you didn't write your notes down to help relieve the stress. So there's the chemical stress that you have a lot of control over. Now, I was in a store the other day, and it stunk like perfume. The people around me, for some reason, a bunch of people wearing perfume. I don't like perfume. That's a chemical stress. It has chemicals in it like phthalates, most perfumes. That can disrupt your hormones. Not a big fan of that. So that, I, I, I just got myself out of, the, out of the situation. But with food, you control that. You control the chemical stress. You got to give your body the minimum amount of nutrients to make it work. Just like you got to have enough gas in the car to get from your gas tank into your, in, well, into your fuel injection. I was going to say carburetor. That's how old I am. And make it work. So you have to have a minimum amount of fuel for your body to run properly. That's why I created Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. They're two powders. They taste great. They're relatively inexpensive. I have them sitting right here in front of me right now. And I take it at least once a day. If you're tired all the time, you might want to consider B vitamins. If you're a vegetarian or you have a bad diet, you might want to consider B12 as part of that um, protocol. I'm, I'm a vegan. I've been a vegan for over 30 years. I take a B12 supplement. Because you get B12 from bacteria eating flesh. It's a waste product of bacteria. And if I'm not eating flesh, I don't have the rotten bacteria in my colon. I don't get my B12. So I take a supplement. And there's a product we have on my website, Dr. Joe's B Complex. And I take it every day. So at least do the super greasy essential source. Try to eat something raw at every meal. Now I say raw, broccoli, cucumbers, tomatoes, avocados. I had some hummus today. And instead of using chips, I had sliced up a cucumber. Got several cucumbers loaded with magnesium. That's good for you, loaded with other nutrients. Didn't have the fried part of the chip. The corn, oftentimes, is genetically modified when you use corn chips. And I still enjoyed my hummus. <gasps> what a concept. And it's cheaper, by the way, too. So at least Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. Those are on my website, drjoesposito.com. Or just Google Dr. Joe, number one Dr. Joe in the world. And also available uh, on Amazon if you have an Amazon account. All my supplements, all my books, I have a bunch of other supplements for different issues. Uh, they're on the website, drjoesposito.com. So we're talking about one-minute things that you can do to keep yourself healthy. Get a smaller plate. This, I mean, I've, I've, this has been around for a long time. You can reduce the amount of food you eat unconsciously by using a smaller plate, especially if you go to a buffet. And I've seen a lot of buffets. I don't go to buffets very often, but I've noticed they used to have big plates and now they have small plates. Studies show that people are programmed to load up as much as they can on their dinner plates. So if you use a salad plate or a dessert plate, if they have big plates, that's a better choice. And I saw this when I was on a cruise a while ago. They used to have these platter size plates. And everybody would load up, and then, of course, they'd eat, try to eat a lot of it. But if they didn't finish it, they'd leave it, and it was just wasted. So the same cruise line I went on about a year, you know, I noticed that for many years. And then a while ago, last cruise I was on, much smaller plates. I said, there you go. They finally figured it out. Waste less food. And then if people eat too much, then they can get sick and they feel miserable. They don't enjoy the cruise as much. So you want to have fun. And we want to be able to digest our food. And if you put too much in your stomach, your stomach actually swells up. And your stomach is like a, like a Ziploc bag. 
when you put maybe half full of food, it swishes around with the digestive enzymes and digest the food because your stomach doesn't have teeth, by the way. And if your stomach is so bloated and filled up, it can't swish around the food with the digestive enzymes and you can't break down your food. And so now the food sits in your stomach for too long and it rots and it gives off toxic gases. And then it passes into your small intestine partially digested and these big chunks of undigested food get absorbed and you can have allergic reactions. Folks, got to go to a break. A lot more to cover. Uh, if you want to give us a call here, 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-JOE. That number rings through to the studio if you have any health care questions. Uh, that number rings through to my offices when I'm not on the air. My website, if you want to listen to podcasts and uh, read articles and order supplements, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe, number one Dr. Joe in the world. Lines are open, folks, 844-44-DR-JOE. Hey, do me a favor. Tell your friends about the show. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. Sure. Hey, folks, thanks for being here. I am so glad you're spending a little time with me today, and I'm going to give you lots of good information. going to make it worth your while because I know everyone thinks, what's in it for me? What's in it for me? Well, what's in it for you is I can give you tips on how to get well and stay well, and today we're talking about things that you can do in less than a minute. How's that for quick and easy and free? That's even better, right? 10-second health check. This happened to me the other day. I was just feeling a little off. I didn't know what was going on. So I took my pulse. And this is important that you try, that you learn how to do this. Um, take your pulse and just make sure it's equal on both sides or close. If it's faster on one side than the other, you might have a problem. And I had a patient come in the other day, and she was really dizzy. And I took her pulse, and one side was way different than the other. And we said, something's really wrong here. So I worked on her, and I found that she had a basically a compressed nerve and blood vessel on one side of her body. And so the pulse wasn't getting into her arm. So I worked on the muscles and I adjusted her. Again, we're chiropractors. I put the bones back in place. I worked on her collarbone. Her collarbone was out of place. And she had just played golf the day before, which she hadn't done in years and years and years and years. And golf is a really bizarre twisting of your body. And so once we got everything back in place, her pulse calmed down again. So just it's a little thing you can do if you don't know how to take your own pulse you need to. Should be around 60, 70, maybe 80 pulses, uh, beats per second. Uh, if it's more than that, you probably want to consider b getting a little concerned. Now, if you just were stressed out, if you drank a lot of coffee, it can be a problem. Another thing I want you to do, wear contacts. Raise your hands if you wear contacts. A lot of you do. I used to. Gave up on it. Started wearing glasses. I said that was too much work. Before you pop your contacts into your eyes, give them a once over. And this is on behalf of, this is a, a public service announcement from your cardiovascular system. Contacts have been found to change your eye's natural bacteria. So if you're eating a diet full of fat and a lot of protein or alcohol, it weakens your tears' abilities to block cholesterol from adhering to your lenses. So a little trick, if your lenses get clogged up and, and covered real fast, faster than they should, it could be at a cloudy deposit of cholesterol. So if your diet is destroying your contacts, Imagine what that's doing to your insides. So it's just another warning sign. And if you see it, you might want to consider doing something about it. What do we do about it? Well, we had a caller before, and his question was, what about lowering your cholesterol? And so you just got to really change your diet. And in most cases, there are a few, about 1 in 100 people have genetically high cholesterol. But that's 99 of you who don't have genetically high cholesterol and probably would respond extremely well to a dietary change putting more enzymes in your body. Enzymes come from raw fruits and vegetables and raw nuts and seeds. I was shopping the other day, and I had a choice between a trail mix that was raw and a trail mix that was cooked. Now, I like the roasted I like roasted nuts, cashews, almonds. Uh, I like the flavor. However, I got the raw one because it was just a better choice. And that's really what it's all about, folks, is making better choices. If you have neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, numbness, tingling, you can choose to do nothing. You can choose to try to cover it up with medication, which I'm not against. I'm not against medication. Or you can choose to try to get to the cause of the problem. So whether it's acid reflux or heartburn or back pain or neck pain or depression or numbness or tingling or diabetes, there might be answers out there for you. There probably are. That would help you. And wouldn't it be nice to not have to take those pills anymore? And patients come to me all the time. Dr. Joe, I want you to get me off my blood pressure medication. And I say, listen, I cannot take you off your medication. That's not my job. My job is help get you healthy so that hopefully you don't need the medication. And then you got, I teach you how to look for the warning signs too. So think about that. If your contacts are getting uh, clogged up pretty quickly, that's not, a good, that's not a good thing. Here's a little trick. Want to eat less? I bet you do. 
because so many people, and myself included, I used to be like this too, you just eat too much. We don't need a whole lot of food to do well, to prosper, and anything extra can put stress on our bodies. For example, if you eat a lot of uh, meat, for example, a lot of people love their meat. Well, your body can use about 8 to 10% of your total caloric intake as protein. The rest of it has to be broken down and passed out. So anything beyond 8 10% of, of your total diet being you know, concentrated protein can put a major strain on your liver and your kidneys. And when I first got in practice decades ago, I didn't see a lot of kidney issues. And I'm seeing pa kidney patients coming in a couple of times a week now. I mean, it's really frightening, and I'm not sure what exactly is causing it, and certainly the kidney experts are, don't know either, but I think a lot of people are eating a lot more processed animal products, these heavy proteins that are getting into their bodies. And years ago, we ate a lot more fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds along with the meats, but now we're eating a lot more meat and a lot less fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds. Fast food has become so much more popular, and a slice of tomato on a burger does not count as a vegetable. Yes, and ketchup does not count as a vegetable. I know Ahmad's all upset over there. Ketchup, Ahmad, does not count as a vegetable. I actually do eat vegetables, believe it I know not. you. Well, you, look at you. <laughs> I mean, you're in great shape, obviously, well. but i got to pick on you at some point here. You know, people think I'm here by myself. So, um, But have a salad every At least one meal a day, have a salad. You'll be amazed how much better you feel. But the trick I was going to give you, if you want to eat less food, is make sure you take a good whiff of your food before you eat it. Smell it. And when you smell it, 90% uh, of your taste is smell. That's why when you have a stuffed up nose, you can't taste anything, right? We've all done that. You had a cold or a flu, you can't taste anything. The odor molecules hit the receptors in your nose and the food tastes better, so you're likely to eat less. How cool is that? So, and make sure your nose isn't runny. And a lot of people come to me with sinus problems. Dr. Joe, I got allergies. I got runny nose. I got boogers in my nose. I blow my nose all the time. I hear it every day. And the number one food that will cause allergic reactions and sinus problems is dairy. The number two food allergen is wheat. How many of you eat wheat and dairy? Not every day. How about every meal? A lot of you. Breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, pasta, sandwiches, pizza cheese on your burger with a bun so you're putting foods in your body that are so hard to digest the animal proteins the dairy products which is an animal protein the wheat and you can't understand why just the other day i was doing a consultation with a new patient and she came to us for uh, neck pain and i just saw she kept wiping her nose and wiping her nose and i said you have a problem and she says oh my nose has been running like this for years and uh, a very nice looking girl thin uh, young and i said um I said, what's your diet like? She goes, oh, my diet's awful. I said, and then I looked at her stomach, and sure, I asked her about digestive problems, and sure enough, she has acid reflux and heartburn and gas. And I said, your stomach's job is to take proteins and break them into amino acids, and then they go into your small intestine. If you're not digesting your food properly, your stomach may be pushed up against your diaphragm, and you're not digesting your food, so the food is going partially digested into the small intestine, where it gets absorbed, partially digested. Your immune system recognizes these chunks of undigest food. They attack the food, and it has to carry the, the, the chunks of food out of your body. And the quickest way out is through your mucous membranes, your sinuses. And she started to cry. And she said, Dr. Joe, for the first time in my life, I'm excited to be at a doctor's office. And she had other problems as well. And she said, I'm just so excited to be at a doctor's office. Thank you for everything you do for all of us. Folks, got to go to break. If you have a healthcare question, the lines are open, 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-JOE. My website, drjoesposito.com. Just Google Dr. Joe, number one Dr. Joe in the world. You can order Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source, the B vitamins, the adrenal supplements, the vitamin K2, the probiotics, all that's on the website, drjoesposito.com. Also available on Amazon if you have an Amazon account. Folks, at least give your body the minimum amount of nutrients that it needs. And once you start getting better, it'll start to snowball. Number here at the studio, if you have a question, 844-44-DR-JOE. We'll be right back. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe here. So glad we could spend a little time together. And uh, what we're talking today is we're giving you uh, little tips that you can do, one-minute tips that you can do to try to keep yourself healthy and uh, stay healthy. And so uh, people always come to me and say, you know, Dr. Joe, I wish there was something that was easier uh, to do. How could I make health easy? Well, it you took, usually takes a long time to mess up your health. You've done a real good job messing up your health. 
So it may take a little bit. But the good news is when you start simple things, like some of the things we're talking today, uh, diet, for example, just give up artificial sweetener. I can't tell you how many patients have give, uh, gotten rid of their headaches just giving up artificial sweetener. And then they cut back on their animal products. Then they give up their animal products. And they go, Dr. Joe, I have so much more energy, and I'm, I'm, I'm digesting my food better. My love life improved. My brain is cleared up. Great. Then we start adding, adding some raw food to their diet. Well, Dr. Joe, the raw food is great. I feel so much lighter, and I have much more energy in the afternoon when I used to get tired all the time. So it's not hard. It's easy. But I don't know. If, did anybody still know how to drive a stick shift? I learned how to drive. My first car was a van, actually, because I wanted to be a cool kid. And I had a customized van with a mural on the side, mag wheels, and a fur interior, and ca captain's chairs, my 8-track player, blaring meatloaf, bat out of hell. And it was a, it was a lot of fun because, of course, everyone, even from high school, still says, Hey, Espo, you still got that van? I was like, well, of course, I don't still have the van, but you know, I became well-known for my van. But it was a three-speed on the column. Anybody old enough to remember that? And I remember the first time I went driving. My father took me down to the Meadowlands in New Jersey, in East Rutherford, Colstead, New Jersey area. And he says, all right, drive in this big warehouse parking lot. And it was scary as heck. And then he said, now back up. Had no back windows, had to learn how to use mirrors. Eventually, I became a truck driver in New York City, actually. So that, you got to learn how to use your mirrors there. But the point is that it's scary because you don't know how to do it. And then eventually, it just became no-brainer. I could parallel park a, a truck in New York City down an aisle, alleyway. Fold my mirrors in, not even use my mirrors sometimes. I kind of just knew where I was. Same thing with health. It's going to take a few steps. It's going to take you a little bit of learning. It's going to be a learning curve here. But when you finally get it, you'll be thrilled how cool it is. So we said earlier, and I'm going to start taking calls again, folks. If you have a question, the lines are open, 844-44-DR-JOE. Smell your food before you eat it. Take a good whiff. And many times that helps stimulate the parts of your brain and the pleasure center so that you eat less food. Make sure you're getting enough omega-3 fatty acids. A couple of supplements I recommend people take every day. Vitamin D is one of them. If, you're, if it's, it's in the winter, if you're not outside a lot, I have one on my website, drjoesposito.com. It's a liquid vitamin D with vitamin K2, which is necessary for bone health. Omega-3 fatty acids, I don't eat animal products, so I take algae oil. Now, algae oil uh, it's a little more expensive than krill oil, which is the middle of the road. And then the one I don't like is the fish oils. Because fish oil many times is contaminated with mercury and other chemicals. So if you're going to do a fish oil, make sure it says certified mercury-free, which means it's been cleaned up. But my thought is this. If you have to clean the mercury out of it to make it pure, why not eat something that's pure to begin with? And that would be the algae oil. I take about a gram of, of uh, algae oil every single day. I think you should too. Some, many people are deficient in magnesium. Now, if you're eating a good plant-based diet, chances are you won't need to take magnesium. But if you do take magnesium, be careful with it because too much magnesium can cause loose bowels. That's what they make milk of magnesia out of. Hey, there's that word. That's where it comes from. So there are a couple of supplements I take every day. I take an adrenal supplement. I take Dr. Joe's adrenal supplement, Dr. Joe's B vitamins, Dr. Joe's super greens, and Dr. Joe's essential source. Why are so many Dr. Joe vitamins out there? Because I create them because this is what you, the listener, you, my patients, need. These are the things that I feel that people should be taking in addition to a good diet. But at least take Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. Absolute minimum. I would add the adrenals and the B12 and the vitamin D as well. But if you want to start out slow, like I said, sometimes you have a learning curve. The Super Greens and the Essential Source, those are on my website, drjoesposito.com. Also available on Amazon. If you have an Amazon account, you can pick them up there. Rick, how can we make your day better? Um, I'm trying to do something about my uh, blood sugar level and the stevia uh -huh. that I have tried it. It's, it's got this awful bitter aftertaste. Sure. Is there such a thing as stevia that doesn't have a bitter aftertaste? Absolutely, yes. And there's so Where can many. I find? Uh, you can try the liquid stevia, as I know, and I, I don't want to give you a brand name over the air because you know my, my bosses like when people buy advertising. Um, but any health food store would carry it. The grocery stores carry it now. Um, a lot of, you're going to see in the next five, five or seven years that a lot of the diet sodas are going to drop their artificial sweeteners and switch to uh, stevia sweetener. And a lot of them are doing it already around the world. You're starting to see that trend. Uh, but try different brands. And if you just go to grocery store, try one brand. If you don't like that one, try it. You can always bring it back to the store, by the way. 
If you buy it, you don't like it, bring it back to the grocery store. I'll take it back from you. Try a different brand. I promise you, you're going to find a brand that you like, and there's a ton of brands out there now. So let's try okay. that. You will find it, though, I promise. All right, very good. Thanks, Rick. Glad, thanks. Th- thanks for calling. All right, folks, let's see. Going to have to go to break soon. So if you're on hold, keep, keep hanging on. If you have a question, 844-44-DR-JOE. I see a couple of questions here. It's going to take me a little longer than the two minutes that I have before my break. So uh, if you're on hold, keep holding. If you have a question, like I said, 844-44-DR-JOE. Four, four, Things you can do, one-minute tips or less to keep yourself healthy. Always good to have an ice pack at home. Now, of course, as a chiropractor, <clears throat> we have some really good ice packs at my office. We use kind of cloth on the outside. Really like them. They're strong. Uh, but if you want to make a homemade ice pack, it's really easy to do. Mix about a half a cup of water and a half a cup of rubbing alcohol and put it in a Ziploc bag. Make sure there's plenty of room for it to expand. Remember, water expands when it freezes. And then place it in the freezer. It takes about two hours. It'll get slushy, but it won't harden. Kind of like you may put your vodka in the, fr- in the freezer to keep it cold. But if you add half water and half rubbing alcohol, I guess vodka would work too, but it seems like a waste of vodka. Um, you can put it in a bag and just have your own ice pack. Because if you have neck pain or back pain or shoulder pain, I always tell people, use ice first. Heat as a secondary, because heat can increase the circulation, which can increase the inflammation, which could actually make the problem worse. And I don't want you increasing your pain. I want you decreasing it. And sometimes, if it's a sore muscle or something, you don't need to come see us. You can put on ice and see if it calms down in a day or two. But if it it lasts more than two or three days, the chances are it's a bone out of place, it's damaged to a ligament or a muscle, and you want to come see us. And if you want to make appointments, by the way, we have in the Atlanta area, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. We would love to have you as a patient. Just dial 844-44-DR-JOE. That number rings through to my offices when I'm not on the air. Or you can go to my website to order the supplements and my books and listen to podcasts, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe, number one Dr. Joe in the world. Hey, folks, got to go to break. Tell your friends about the show. If you have a question, 844-44-DR-JOE. And uh, don't go anywhere. Don't go. We're going to be right back, so don't go anywhere, and we'll talk soon. And we'll- Hey, folks, thanks for being here. I am Dr. Joe Esposito, and I am so glad we're getting to spend a little time together. What fun, huh? Get to listen to the radio, get a little good information, a little entertainment. Because I want to give you things every show that you can walk away with so that you can say, I learned this on the Dr. Joe show. I learned that if you do this, it can help you stay healthy and get healthy, save money. And that's what it's all about, because naturally, I want to get you well and keep you well. That's my goal. If you have a healthcare question, lines are open, 844-44-DR-JOE. We're talking today about things that you can do to get healthy that take 60 seconds or less. Can't beat that, can you? If you are busy, and sometimes folks get busy, and I like to brush my teeth after just about every meal, uh, especially as a chiropractor, I get close to my patients, and I don't want to be smelling like a you know stinky breath. But if you're in a rush, do this. Eat an organic apple. When you eat an apple, it can dislodge food in, in, in between your teeth. It stimulates the saliva flow, and that can counteract plaque and bad breath. So it's a neat little trick. You buy yourself a bag of organic apples. I personally like Fuji's. That's my favorite. And just nibble on that, and you'll be amazed how good you feel. And also, many times after lunch, you start getting those cravings for sweets, a little dulce, a little sweets. An apple really solves that problem. Another thing, a little trick that I do, and it was funny. Where was Oh, I ran into a friend of mine the other day. That's right. She's a singer. And um, I was uh, standing there talking to her. She goes, somebody smells so good around here. She goes, is that you, Joey? And I said, oh, you know me. I never smell good. But what I do is I take cloves, you know, cloves like you, you know, putting oranges around Christmas time, and just put them in your mouth and suck on them. And those cloves are antibiotic, antiviral, and antifungal, and they give you this really amazing breath. And what we, you can do with it is stuck, stick it up in between your cheek and gum when you don't need it. And then if you like, if I'm walking into a room with a patient, I'll take it down, suck on a little bit, put it back between my cheek and gum, and go on with my day. And it lasts forever. And as it dissolves, your saliva will eventually break it down. It'll start to dissolve, chew it, and swallow it. And the reason is it has more antioxidants than blueberries. So it's good for you. Try to do organic cloves if you can. I don't even know if they make non-organic cloves. I don't even know that. Um, but boy, is it a great little trick. I keep bags in all my suit jackets in my car and my briefcase. If I'm giving a lecture uh, in the office at home and it's just a wonderful thing. And eventually they start to lose their, their flavor or whatever. So just keep a few in a bag. You're not going to use a whole lot. And if they lose their flavor, throw them away and get more. But it's a neat little trick. And I've been doing this for years and years and years. My friend Frank back in college taught me this. 
And they have little buds on them, by the way. You can break the little bud off if you want to because the bud is, will break up in your mouth. Just swallow it. It's no big deal, folks. And it tastes great. It's actually really good for you, too. All right, let's start taking some calls again. 844 44 Dr. Joe. Scott, how can we make your day better? Yes, Dr. Joe. I've got a question uh, if some kind of chiropractic care could help with psoriatic arthritis I have in one of my my uh, knees. It's, uh, it's really been bothering me, but since January I've been – working out three to four times a week. I've drastically changed my diet, and that and that's helped. But I still have pain. Uh, some days I walk 10 miles at, at my job. So sure. I'm, I'm hurting all day long, Yeah, basically. Right. Well, so, psoriatic arthritis, there's different types of arthritis. And psoriatic arthritis, many times I find, is a liver condition we have to deal with. Um, so it's, that's why when you change your diet, it got better because you took the stress off your liver. So keep doing that. There are some liver supplements. We have them at our office. I take one called Livton. It's by a company called Standard Process. I take Livton um, maybe a couple times a week just to keep my liver clean. Um, milk thistle is another one you might want to consider. But the other thing with any type of arthritis, there's always some misalignment of the joint. And if joints are out of alignment, every time you walk on them or stress them, they wear out even more. So Mm -hmm. from your question about a chiropractic treatment, the answer is absolutely yes. You want to get everything realigned the best you can, number one, because it hurts, but number two, because if the joints are out of alignment, guaranteed 100%, they will wear out. So, yeah, probably coming to see us wouldn't be a bad idea to make sure that if the knee is out of place, we put it back in place. Okay. Well, I guess I'll schedule an appointment because I need to try something. I I can't keep eating ibuprofen and because uh, so. that can, and again i'm not against the drugs but it could cause liver problems and stomach problems so get to the right. cause of the problem would be the thing so yeah if you dial 844 dr joe uh when we're you know not on the air during during business hours scott will set you up an appointment okay well i appreciate your help thank Look you Look forward to seeing you thanks so much and that, that number 844 dr joe as we just told scott does ring through our offices and that's what's cool about chiropractic care most people just think it's for pain But it also prevents or slows down and many times somewhat reverses degenerative arthritis. How cool is that? I've had cases, countless patients. We take a follow-up x-ray on them, and if they follow their chiropractic visits like we recommend, their discs actually start to come back. And then we get them on good, good nutrition, of course, to give the body the nutrients that it needs. We have something called Dr. Joe's nitric oxide support, and that creates nitric oxide, which opens up your blood vessels and increases circulation to your entire body. And a lot of patients report it helps with their blood pressure because it opens up the blood vessels. But once again, I tell people, if you're taking nitric oxide, it's, it, that's not fixing the cause. It's treating the symptoms. And it's okay to treat the symptoms as long as you also work to get to the cause. Because if you're just taking nitric oxide to keep opening up your blood vessels, that's great. But why do you have high blood pressure? Could be your diet, could be pinched nerves, the stomach could be pushing up against the diaphragm. A lot of patients with acid reflux, heartburn, burping, gas, bloating. The stomach is up against the diaphragm and that irritates the vagus nerve, V-A-G-U-S. And the vagus nerve controls the heart and it could cause the heart to beat faster and harder if it's being irritated. So if we start looking at the nervous system as the master control center of everything, many times you're able to trace it down to the cause. I was watching a, a comedy a, a comedy show about a, 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 a hospital. I won't say the name on the air. And um, they said, well, the, the patient was saying to the doctor, I still have tingling in my arm and pressure in my chest. Doctor says, we ran every test known to man, so obviously nothing's wrong. And I thought, no, if you still have the tingling and the aches, something's wrong. We just haven't found it yet. And that's what I always teach my doctors when you come in and see my doctors in our offices. Let's try to get to the cause of the problem. If you can't figure it out, There's five of us all working. You can talk to one of the other doctors and bring the doctors in for consultations. A lot of times our patients will see more than one doctor at our office. They like the way Dr. Cat does one thing and Dr. Gale does another thing and Dr. Irwin does this and Dr. Dave does that. So if you want to make an appointment, the number is 844-44-DR-JOE, and we have offices in the Atlanta area, Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. We would love to be your doctors. Folks, if you have a healthcare question, 844 dr Joe. If you want to order supplements, books, send me questions through the website, listen to my podcast, drjoeesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe, number one Dr. Joe in the world. Hey, folks, don't go anywhere. i got to go to a break. Tell your friends about the show. We'll be right back. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. I do appreciate you spending time with me. If you're just joining us, welcome. Glad you could be here. Lots of good information today, as always, giving you tips on things that you can do to get healthy in 60 seconds or less. 
I don't know how to make it any easier for you. Uh, oh, by the way, I forgot to say this before. Uh, I want you to go to my website, drjoesposito.com. I want you to sign up for our newsletter. We send out a lot of good information on a newsletter. Uh, many times if we, we do live lectures, and come out live lectures. Check my schedule, by the way. If, you're on, if we have your email address, never give it out to anyone, I promise. Uh, we'll let you know we're doing live lectures. Many times they're no charge. And sometimes, like big corporations or fairs, I'll be speaking there. And there'll be a fee for that. But a lot of times we have uh, tickets to give away to our listeners. And you just call in and sign up or use you know, a special code like Dr. Joe or something to get free tickets. So there's no downside to being a member on our newsletter. Now, you can follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. I want you to do that as well uh, because we send out information there, uh, which is a lot of fun. Because we give you tips that we, you can uh, do to get well and stay well. But at least sign up for my newsletter. That's really important. That's on the website, drjoesposito.com. And also, our podcast is now available. If you go to any of your podcast services, look up For the Health of It. And For the Health of It is going to be my podcast. And then you can tune in there and uh, catch the podcast. And you can you know binge listen, Dr. Joe. How cool is that? Also, on my website, we keep all the podcasts on my website, too. drjoesposito.com. Over 1,000 hours of radio shows. We have live lectures, videos. A lot of folks love the videos that we do. So tune in and you don't want to miss any of that. So let's keep talking about getting well and staying well. Uh, we talked a little bit about blood pressure before, and I forgot to mention this one too. Uh, potassium can also help with blood pressure. So if you have a banana a day, that's not a bad idea. Now, what a lot of people do is they'll take Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source and put it in their blender with a little bit of almond milk or coconut milk. I don't do cow's milk. I don't do animal products. And whip it up into a smoothie. And they can have some frozen fruit if you want to. Berries, of course, are great. Low in glycemic index, so they're good for you. And make a smoothie out of it. And if you have kids, you can make like a banana ice cream out of it and say, oh, we got banana ice cream today, kids. And it just rocks. So a banana a day, probably not a bad idea. Um, It'll give you fiber. It'll give you potassium. And it's a good way to kind of mix up the super greens and the essential source and, and make it fun. Another little trick you can do if you're making the super greens and essential source banana ice cream is this. I don't know if you remember when you were a kid, and they still have them now, if you had ice cream cones and they were dipped in like red or brown or something, created a crust on the outside, like a crunchy. Well, that used to be uh, coconut oil. They used to use coconut oil to do that. Now they use chemicals. But if you take some coconut oil and just put a couple of drops into your uh, banana ice cream, it hardens and it makes that crunch. So it's not like coating it, but it adds a little crunch to it too. So just use extra virgin organic coconut oil. Just a fun tip for you. And uh, again, you, you don't know what to eat. Get, get yourself some frozen vegetables. Just uh, today, in fact, I bought some frozen broccoli, organic frozen broccoli. And sometimes I just don't know what to eat. I'm just hungry and I'm, I just don't feel like making a big meal. And I make a lot of my meals at home. So I'll just take some frozen broccoli, heat it up, maybe some frozen peas or um, uh, string beans if you wanted to. Add a little olive oil once it's, you know, I can boil it up, drain the water out. Add a little olive oil, some nutritional yeast, which is loaded with nutrients. Some salt and pepper, maybe some garlic, some oregano, red pepper. I like spicy foods. And it makes like a kind of a a casserole type thing. And the the nutritional yeast almost has a cheesy flavor to it, like a cheddar cheese flavor. So I just love that as a real quick, easy meal. Uh, Another quick, easy meal that I'll do sometimes is organic oatmeal. And just take it, dump it in a bowl, add a little raisins, some dried raisins or some dried cranberries, organic, of course, dried cherries, and add a little coconut milk or almond milk and just eat it as a cereal. And that's a real quick, easy meal, very inexpensive, good for you, loaded with fiber. Uh, Oats are loaded with something called beta-glucan. And beta-glucan helps stimulate your immune system. And in fact, there's research now. They're trying to come out with a universal vaccine. Of course, that's been coming on for years. And a lot of the researchers are looking at beta-glucan or some component or some type of synthetic version of it that they can put into a vaccine to keep the immune system strong and active as almost a universal vaccine. So you can get a lot of that benefit from nutritional yeast, and you can get it from oats. See how easy that is? And studies have shown that even a teaspoon of nutritional yeast a day can reduce colds and flu by 50%. How easy is that? And if you do get a cold or flu, it's going to reduce the time and the severity of it dramatically. Just a teaspoon. I use way more than a teaspoon every day. I put it on salads. I put it in soups. It's just tasty. I just really like it. Nice savory flavor. So that's another 60-second tip that you can do. Just add nutritional yeast to your diet. Stress buster. How many people lose their keys? Yeah, I know. I've done it once or twice. 
put it in the same place every day. Put a hook next to your door. Put a bowl near your near your door, and just do it. I know that sounds pretty uh, basic, but a lot of you get stressed out over that. And I have staff call up sometimes, or patients call up and say, "Oh, Doctor Joe, I'm running late. I can't get in. I, I lost my keys." And it's always a good idea to have a second set of keys, because what if you do lose your keys? Then you got a problem. Always have a second set of keys and put it somewhere that's easy to find so that if you're ever locked out you know, your car, you lose your keys and you're far away, somebody can go to your house and say, okay, there's the key. Let me go bring it to you. So it might be expensive to make a second key, but it's always worth it. And don't put it off till tomorrow. Don't put it off till next week. I want you to do it now. And I promise you, some to- somewhere along the way, you're going to go, Thank you, Dr. Joe, for reminding me. Same with your house keys, by the way, to everything. Office keys, make a second set of keys because somewhere along the line, you're going to lose them and you're going to need them. Another thing, talking about stress, as we talk about stress here, study found that an unhappy marriage increases your chances of getting sick by 35% and shortens your lifespan by four years. Easy way to instantly improve your marriage and your health is regularly tell your spouse or your significant other that you admire and respect them. Thank them for doing simple things because what's going to happen is your stress level is going to drop and their stress level is going to drop. It takes less than a minute. Big impact on that. Partners who feel secure and well-loved uh, feel less depression and less stress. A study sponsored by the National Institutes of Health, 74% of the happiest couples reported that their spouses often made them feel good about the kind of person they were compared to 27% of moderately or unhappy couples. There's a really good book. I usually don't recommend any, anyone else's books except mine, but there's a really good book called the, uh, Lang- Five, La- Five Love Languages. If you've never read it, I think you should, and I think you should find out what your love language is, and I think you should find out everyone in your world what their love language is. And see if I can remember the five. Um, time, quality time with people, acts of service, touch, uh, words of affirmation, and I can't remember the other one now. But if you find out what somebody's love language is, the thing that gets them, uh, that, that, that excites them, and not, not necessarily love, you know, romantic love, and you do that for the person. Like, I don't, I'm not a big gift person. People send me gifts. I love that, but I'm not that big a gift person. If, but if yours are words of affirmation and I say, hey, you did a great job, that means a lot to you. So it's really an interesting little way of looking at how the body works and how the brain works and how you can build better relationships. Oh, music says got to go to break, folks. If you have a healthcare question, give us a call. Lines are open, 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-JOE. My website, if you want to order Super Greens, Essential Source, uh, my immune system uh, products, the probiotics, the adrenal support, the B vitamins, a bunch of other supplements, all my books, Eating Right for the Health of It and Prescription for Extreme Health, all on the website, drjoesposito.com. Just Google Dr. Joe. If you'd like to make an appointment to come see us in the Atlanta area, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. We would love to be your doctors. Go to the website, drjoesposito.com. We'll be right back. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe here. Thank you so much for being here. I, I, I just I, I can't tell you how what a thrill it is that we have such a huge listenership all over the world now. We're number one health and wellness radio broadcast in the world, and it's all because of you. And you tell your friends and your family, and I really appreciate that. And as little gifts I want to give you, we, we archive all our radio shows. If you want to listen to them again, drjoesposito.com or just Google Dr. Joe. We come up first. Uh, our podcast, For the Health of It, is now available on uh, iTunes, Stitcher, and Google Play. So if you want to go there and you know binge listen, uh, you can do it on the website too. We videotape our live lectures. I want to give you as much of this information as I can so that you can get well and stay well. You'll save money. You'll feel better. Uh, you'll probably live longer. Most of these things are going to happen if you just start learning how to take care of yourself. So my way of saying thank you is the website is there 24 hours a day with tons of information. And if you have questions and I can't get you on the air, please feel free to send me the questions through the website. I'm more than happy to answer your questions for you. And speaking of that, let's start taking some callers again at 844-44-DR-JOE. Tamika, how can we make your day better? You can make my day better, uh, Dr. Joe, by helping me um, get to the bottom of lowering my estrogen levels because I have fibroids, which sometimes give me back pain. Yes. And um, also increasing my iron level because the fibroids, of course, um, have a lot to do with my bloodstream. Of and uh, my, my iron is, uh, my hemoglobin level is not grown beyond eight oh, oh, and i've okay. been trying to get it up 
uh, in a natural way and sure. try different supplements for increasing my iron. So I really need help with this. And um, I'm very tired, fatigued, like I say. Sometimes my back is aching, a lower back. So I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this and do it in a very healthy way. Ah, uh, well, you know you call the right place. All right, a couple of things. Well, I'm glad. Yes, a couple of things. Number one, as far as iron supplements go, I like to use the plant-based iron supplements because if you use the non-plant-based iron supplements, many times they cause constipation, which then causes a whole nother problem. So plant-based, Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source, anything that's green uh, or red, you know, beets, strawberries, rhubarb, these are going to be great sources of iron, red beans. Um, so anything that's going to be red or green in the plant-based world is going to give you a good source of plant-based iron. Because in order to absorb iron, you need vitamin C. And in the plant-based right. irons, vitamin C is present. It naturally occurs in, in, in plants. If you start taking the non plant-based iron, the, that, then you got, or blood, heme iron it's called, from, from animal blood, you don't get the vitamin C really hard to absorb. So plant-based, far and away uh, the best way to do it. Number two, okay. you have to avoid all stimulants, caffeine, that will be coffee, soda, energy drinks, uh, tea. Caffeine is going to make the fibroids worse. Number three, okay. you got to check the nerves in the low back. The nerves in the low back control your colon, sex organs, and bladder, including your uterus. So if you have pinched nerves in the low back, you might have back pain, leg pain, hip pain, knee pain, ankle pain, but you're also cutting off the nerve and blood supply to the fibroids. So we got to open that up. And many times when people go to a more plant-based diet and take the natural treatments like Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source, they're pretty happy. As far as the estrogen level goes, of course, a lot of fibroids are estrogen sensitive. They're, they grow in estrogen. You want to stay away from any foreign estrogens called xenoestrogens. Xenoestrogens would be perfumes, hairsprays, car, new car smell, uh, air fresheners, plastic, anything that smells like plastic, using a microwave oven, especially with plastic. All of these can give you xenoestrogens. Styrofoam cups. And you want to make sure your adrenal glands are healthy because the adrenal glands can help produce testosterone, which can counteract the estrogen. So okay. I, take, I take Dr. Joe's optimal adrenal support because... As I get older and stressed out, I want to make sure my adrenals are working. Make sense? Yeah, makes sense. All right. I want you to give that a shot. Let us know how it does. Give us a call back in about a month or so. Let us know how, how well you're doing. I promise I'm going to do it. Thank uh, you so much, Dr. Joe. My pleasure, Tamika. Thanks so much. All right. Lots of callers here. Jen, how can we make your day better? Hello, Jen. Oh, hey. Hi. <laughs> Dr. Joe. Yes. It's so <laughs> good to talk to you. I love your show. Ah, uh, Thanks, Jen. I just was calling to see which was the best thing to take for circulation, a beet powder or nitric oxide, and how much to take. Okay. Now, I like the nitric oxide more than the beet powder. Um, uh, it, we make it from citrulline, and citrulline converts into arginine. Arginine converts into nitric oxide. You don't need all that chemistry, though. And how much do you take? You can take up to four a day. Okay. So what, what I tell people is take one Dr. Joe's nitric oxide support, see how you do. Wait an hour or two. If you're doing well, you can take another one, another one. Uh, but most people take about four a day. But I just want to make okay. sure that you're not going to have an adverse reaction. The and only could adverse reaction. the organic nitric oxide? Yeah, it can. Well, orga it's, it's the, the plants, the, the citrulline comes from watermelon. Um, uh -huh. So nitric oxide itself wouldn't be called organic necessarily. Because okay. you're making your own nitric oxide, is what it is. Okay, thank you so much. All right, Jen, let me know how it works out. Appreciate the call. All right, let's keep rocking and rolling here. Kelsey, how can we make your day better? I was wondering how to lower cortisol levels. Ah, cortisol comes from your adrenal glands, and when you're stressed out, uh, well, your adrenal glands produce something called pregnenolone. Pregnenolone becomes DHEA, and DHEA, when you're stressed out, becomes cortisol. If you're not stressed out, it becomes your sex hormones, testosterone, estrogen, progesterone. So when cortisol levels are high, we have to do several things. Number one is find out where the stress... Where the stress is coming from, whether it's a chemical stress like a bad diet, physical stress, back pain, neck pain, headaches, you know, muscle aches, or uh, emotional stress. Now, the emotional stress we can't help, but if we can get the chemical and the physical working, the emotional is a lot better. So, for someone like you, I'd recommend Dr. Joe's adrenal support because you want to feed those adrenal glands to get them working. Make sure you're drinking a lot of water. Staying away from any stimulant, coffee, uh, tea, chocolates, because the stimulation can burn out the adrenal glands. 
Uh, from a chiropractic standpoint, I would check the nerves right in the mid-back, right kind of where your bra strap would be. That's the nerve supply to the adrenal glands. And that should help balance out the cortisol levels. But if you have pain, that could be the reason why you have cortisol problems, and then you got to get to the cause of the pain. Does that make sense? Yeah. Good. Can the adrenals and high cortisol cause chronic pain? Oh, yeah, yeah. Cortisol, yes. It, it, you kind of get you, you're caught in a trap, as Elvis once said. Yeah, you get stuck in a cycle. That's why we got to find out where the pain is coming from, get this swelling down, get you on an anti-inflammatory diet, and then everything kind of reverses in most cases. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Nice, Kelsey. Appreciate the call. See, folks, I love calls. I just love this. Uh, let's see here. Okay, got it. Uh, so, folks, i uh, got to take a break in about a minute or so. So let me give you some more tips, One, one uh, things you can do. Uh, in a minute or less to help get well. And we talked about complimenting people. And boy, does that ever work. And my grandfather, my German grandfather, taught me a lot of lessons about life. And one of the things he taught me was always leave things cleaner than you found them. And so when I go out hiking, and I just love hiking, if I go out hiking, I always have something with me or at least pockets in, you know, I got cargo pants or something, and I'll pick up trash along the way. Now, is that going to make you healthier? Eh, I don't know. But it sure makes you feel good. When you get to the end of the hike, you t un unload your pockets, you dump it out, and it's just a good thing to do. And if that becomes your lifestyle, opening doors for people, saying thank you, waving when somebody lets you in in traffic, picking up the trash, leaving things better than they were before, most of the time life gets pretty good. And that can help lower your stress levels too. Folks, got to go to break. If you have a question, 844-44-DR-JOE. That number rings through to my offices when I'm not on the air. If you want to order Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Essential Source, the Adrenal Support, the Nitric Oxide, the Probiotics, the B Vitamins, all the other supplements, those are on my website, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe. Sign up for my newsletter so you can stay in touch with what's going on. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. A lot of homework today, folks. I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. Hey, folks. Thanks for listening. I do appreciate you taking time out of your day to be here. And if you're just joining us, welcome. But if you're just joining us, we only have one more segment left. But the good news is that I shall be your knight in shining armor and take all these shows and put them on my website, drjoesposito.com. Well over 1,000 hours of shows there. You can binge listen all you want. Uh, we have videos, a lot of live videos that we put together. I did a lecture just last week, and the sound didn't work. Mm, I didn't have the right button. It was a really good lecture, too. Um, but we videotape a lot of our live lectures. They're all on the website, drjoesposito.com. And if you have questions, send them to me through the website. Because we want to help you get well and stay well. If you want to make an appointment to come see us in the Atlanta area, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. Love to have you come in. And if you're ever in a car accident, ever, if the car was damaged, you were damaged 100% of the time. I, in all the years I've been in practice, three decades plus, I've never seen it not happen. So if there is a, a car accident, 100% of the patients I've seen were injured. So you need to come see us. The quicker you come see us, the better, of course. And I don't want you getting scammed either. There's a lot of scams out there. There's doctors. There's lawyers. There's runners. They're called. They chase you down. Oh, call this doctor. Call this lawyer. And very important. I don't want you getting scammed, folks. If you were hurt, I want you to get well. That's my goal. And I want that to be your goal, too. And if you get a settlement, great. That's wonderful. And usually there is a settlement if, as long as everything is done properly. But if things aren't done properly, you may be the one that suffer in the end. And I don't want that. Whether it's your health or your finances, we want to make sure you're taken care of. So anytime's a car accident, if you want to come see us, we're more than happy to call, work with you. And if we need to refer you out, we do. We work with a ton of different doctors that I trust, that I would see personally. Many of them I do see as my personal doctors. And that's why I know I can trust them seeing you. But if you want to make an appointment, drjoesposito.com. Or you can call 844-44-DR-JOE which is the number here at the studio if you have a question, but it's also the number that rings through to my offices. So we're talking today about uh, things that you can do in 60 seconds or less. This was interesting. J J uh, Japan's National Food Research Institute, participants who compared equal amounts of sliced and whole vegetables rated the sliced piles up to 27% larger, even though it was the same amount. When you believe you're eating a larger portion of food, you'll trick yourself into feeling more satisfied with fewer calories. So one of the things I do just about every day is I eat a salad and I take the salad and I cut it up. I just take a scissor and cut it into smaller pieces because one of the problems I have, and I guess you do too, is if it's too big, and I usually do the organic spring mix, is you try to get it in your mouth and it flops all over the place and you get food all over yourself and it's embarrassing. And so I just take a scissors and cut it up. Then I'll add some nutritional yeast. Then I'll add a salad dressing. And if you don't know what kind of salad dressing, you can buy organic salad dressings, plant-based. Or if you get my first book, Prescription for Extreme Health, 
It tells you how to change your diet. Breakfast, lunches, dinner, snacks, Christmas. And then the second half is well over 200 recipes. And we have a whole chapter on nothing but salad dressings. So I don't know how to make it easier for you, folks. The, 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 and that book is great. If you don't know what to make for people, uh, gentlemen, want to impress your ladies. I understand that ladies are very impressed when a gentleman makes them dinner. And what if you made them a healthy dinner? Because one of the lectures I do is a, the food romance connection. And we talk about how certain foods are stimulating to your romantic life. And many of them are suppressing to romance. So if you eat the typical American meal, meats and dairies and lobsters and wine and, and bread and butter, all of those foods there are going to really suppress, for men and women, uh, the romance. So imagine making them something healthy that they're impressed with. This goes for girls, too. Girls, you can make us guys dinner, too, every now and then if you'd like, or your significant other, whoever that happens to be. And it's really impressive when you serve them something healthy and it makes them feel good afterwards. Because, you know, they, end of your date, you go home, you think, wow, I really had a good time because you feel good. If you feel bloated and fat and bad breath and stinky, and eh, it may not be a good memory. So that's why one of the reasons that book was written, uh, Eating Right for the Health of It, that's on my website, drjoesposito.com. Talked about this one a couple of weeks ago. I might as well throw it back out there again. If you sit at a computer a lot, how many people sit at a computer? Raise your hands. A lot of you. There you go. Rachel is raising her hand. Ahmad, Ahmad's standing up, though. He's rocking, man. See, he's up there moving around. See, I, I'm, I'm dancing the whole time. I got music in my head. Ahmad must wonder. He's looking at me through his double pane glass, and I'm always in motion here. Uh, it's an exercise. You get to stand around for a few hours and move. But your eyes can get tired, and this happens to me a lot, too. If I look at my, and you know, I wear glasses, and just looking at the computer screen, your eyes just get tired. So what you can do is several things. Number one, uh, and this is an easy one, just take your palms and rub them together really, really, really fast to create some uh, heat. Right? Remember Mr. Miyagi, right? Rub his hands together and, and, uh, and the karate kid. And when you start, your palms start getting warm, put them on your eyes. And that heat can increase circulation, just gentle pressure, and that can help soothe eye strain course, take your glasses off. I don't know if I have to tell you that or not, but I hope I don't. And you can also get little bean bags, and you can put them, if you have a microwave, which you shouldn't have anymore, folks, but if you do, you can heat little things like for 10, 20 seconds, little bean bags in a microwave and put them over your eyes. Or just take a warm cloth, you know, some warm water, and put it over your eyes, and that'll increase the circulation. And when you do that, you kick in what's called the parasympathetic nervous system. Sympathetic nerves speed you up, parasympathetic, ner parasympathetic nerves slow you down, and you have both of them. And so what happens is if you're in the sympathetic mode, you're stressed out at work, you're stressed out in a relationship, you're stressed out at home, you got to downshift into the parasympathetic. So a warm towel across your eyes can kick in the parasympathetics. Another thing you can do is take a warm towel and lay it across your belly. Your digestive system is run by mostly parasympathetic nerves. So take a hot towel, maybe a hand towel, wet it if you still have a microwave, which you shouldn't do, put it in a microwave, heat it up a little bit, lay it across your abdomen, and it stimulates your parasympathetic nervous system. Very relaxing. Trouble going to sleep? Try the, one of those tips. Put it across your eyes or put it across your abdomen. It's pretty cool. And it relaxes. You got kids that are fussy? Warm towel across their belly. Colic, constipation? Warm towel across your belly. So it's a really neat little trick, and uh, it, you know it's not going to last. It's not going to stay hot for long, and don't burn yourself, of course. But it's really amazing what happens to the body when you start kicking in those parasympathetics. That's why when you get your shoulders rubbed, it feels good because you're stimulating the parasympathetic nerves because it's the spinal accessory nerve that controls your trapezius muscles, and the trapezius muscles are uh, when they get rubbed stimulate the parasympathetics. There's a lot of ne ne neurology for you there. So going into the parasympathetic mode is really important when we're relaxing and sleeping. And those are some little tricks that you can do to do that. And folks, always keep your house clean. It's really important because if the house isn't clean, you could be inhaling a lot of dust and germs and stuff. Folks, if you want to make an appointment, come see us at Marietta Duluth or Stockbridge in the Atlanta area, 844-44-DR-JOE, or my website is drjoesposito.com. If you want to order my supplements, super greens, essential source, adrenal support, uh, K2, it's all there, the optimal uh, probiotics, drjoesposito.com. Also available on Amazon. So if you have an Amazon account, we want to make it as easy as possible for you to get well and stay well. We would love to be your doctors, folks. So if you're ready to get well, 844-44-DR-JOE or drjoesposito.com. Catch you next time.